Hello everybody and welcome to SCP-3008 Lone Survivor. Don't worry, I saw all your comments yesterday in the SCP HD edition. I'm not going anywhere, I ain't gonna pull a bait, see? I'm here to stay. Calm down. I mean, I do appreciate that people genuinely miss me if I disappeared, but you don't need to worry. I'm not going anywhere, I'm still gonna be doing these silly videos, and that's good. And speaking of silly videos, if you haven't watched the last video, go and watch it. It hasn't done anywhere near as well as I thought it would do, so... If you, if you want to go watch it, just there'll be a little card that pops up like now. Just just clicky click. Go watch it. It's a good video. It it's SCP Container Bridge, but it looks nice. Also, a few changes this video. First off, I'm actually going to advertise my Patreon because everyone doesn't know why people get early access. You just donate two dollars a month, and then you get links to the videos up to 12 hours before they're released. So you get to watch them, and you always get my, I always read your comment. You get a heart, and you get a like, and sometimes you get a reply. If it's a good comment, which normally it is. Also, new outro music. That's cool. Uh, I think that's done by um, Mallow. Uh, there's the 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 channel will also be at the end of the video or something in the credits thing. Anyway, rambling. Uh, there's been a little update. It's improved uh, a few things, like the forklift now has fuel mechanics and dur item durability is done, and traps don't destroy themselves when you place them, which is nice. So that's cool. So we're going to be checking that out, and hopefully. It'll be a good video. Also, consistent updates and uploads. I like it. It's cool. Now, I've played a bit. We're up to day four on a uh, thing I've been working on. It was mainly just testing everything to make sure it was working. But I kind of want to do a little bit of a series where we get every upgrade. And I think the updates are coming out a bit slower now. So, if now is the best time, if ever, everything seems to be working properly. And, yeah. So, nothing to really worry about. Enough rambling. Let's bloody crack on, mate. Let's go. I'm also very upset to announce that I, Battleforge, will be leaving the GTX 1050 Ti squad as I have upgraded to a GTX 1070, which I know isn't a fucking RTX 2060 or anything, but I don't want none of that ray tracing in Minecraft or anything they've just announced, because shaders, and the 1070 was like 100 quid cheaper, and I don't have much money, so, because rent. Also, what the fuck is this frame rate? Game? Are you alright? This is very new, it, it ran a lot smoother during testing. Am I running something in the background that it doesn't like? Hang on. I've, <laughs> I've, I've got a game running in the background. Two, two seconds. Okay, I have fixed the issue. So, not really many super big changes. Apart from, as I said, we now have... Come on, inventory. Load up. Hang on, let's find a weapon. There it is. Uh, I've used this. A fire axe now has says how many uses it has left. And the fire axe is so good, and it's really depressing that that isn't going to last much longer. So I need to go find another one. You may have also noticed this. This is my base, and it's slightly upraised, you may have noticed. And that is because staff can't get you when they're at your way up here. And I'm also going to build spikes around it, so if they do come, they'll die before they even get here. You've also probably noticed the corpse pile, and uh, there's a dude up there as well. Normal stuff, obviously, because they go over and they check it out, and in there is some spikes. And um, I'm kind of hoping a little bit that they'll die when they go in there, but I've only got the wooden spike recipe so far, you see. So it doesn't really do much damage, and they just kind of hang around, which is sad. So we're going to get loads of wood this episode, and hopefully find some new recipes. Yeah, the only problem getting into space is it's a bit difficult to get around it sometimes. <laughs> They should just call this fisting simulator, if you know what I mean. I'll probably speed up the destroying things for wood because it takes a really long time without a weapon. And because I don't have the wooden plank recipe yet, it takes even longer. And I'm not wasting my fire axe. No way am I wasting my fire axe. Although it does break them in two hits. Hmm. Let's go find a fire axe and maybe kill some people on the way. We'll explore in straight lines so we don't get lost. And I'm also... Like I say every episode, I'm actually going to mark areas where I go by doing this, because then I know, ah, it's this way, and it's around here. Recipes are found on the floor. Well, we found food. I think we got plenty of food on this seed, so, hmm. Food ain't important. Well, it is, but it's not as important. Not right now, anyway. All right, marky mark. That way. And that way, okay. Straight line. Find some recipes. I'm sure... Ooh. Electric lighter. That's nice. I'm sure I'm going to walk past them. And then in the comments you'll be like, How did you miss that? And I'll go, I'm blind. Don't don't be don't be racist. Yeah, and I don't use the signs because 
A, one hit to break. Nice. And B, uh, they don't stick to anything. You can't, like, fix them to anything. Which is bad. Hello, batteries. I'll be having you. And I'm going to destroy your signs. This map seed is set to ex the map seed of extreme or massive. <laughs> Staff are still killing themselves. I can hear them. Oh. Is that a double settlement? It is. That's uh, rare, actually. Hello. What do you trade? Wood to receive one flashlight. Do I have the flashlight recipe? No. You're actually useful. Uh, I will get you your wood, sir. You there. Ten gas for one wooden plank. Are you taking the piss, mate? Smack him in the gabba. Ah! I see this game is ethnically diverse. And we got 23 wood. We've one, ex one lighter. Okay. Both a bit shit apart from this guy. Where? How much do you want? 19 wood to receive one flashlight. How much wood do we have? 15. I'll get you more wood. Let me just destroy your own base. Smashing job. You could just say that that pallet crumbled into submission. Yeah, I've, I've run out of puns. You, sir, give me one of your finest flashlights. Thank you, sir. You've been very useful. Nice. I know for a fact it's going to be dark in a bit, and I won't be able to see nothing. And that's bad. Do we have the extension cord? No, we don't have any of like the useful stuff. Hmm, that's not good. I must have been here really recently, or at some point. Hmm. I don't remember being here, unless this. Sw oh, no, I spawned around here, maybe. No, I did spawn. Yeah, I spawned here. I missed that. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. We're gonna get lost. I've tried my best to make a trackable path, but. Mm, I don't know. I'm not very good at doing that. <gasps> I never played some fire axe. I love you, game. Oh, please give me the recipes to craft it. Please, 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 please. I think the issue with this new system where recipes drop. Is it possible to not get every recipe or one that you need? Because otherwise I'm just going to be fighting everything with fists and traps. And that ain't no good. Right, it's going to get dark soon. So we are going to head back home. And then think about what we're going to actually build and stuff. Because we need to finish the base. Give it, an, I, give it a name in the comments. The best comment gets featured in the next video. There we go. Fan interactivity. Right, goodbye, fellas. I appreciate your business. Even though some of you are a right rip-off. Ten goddamn gas for a f fucking wooden plank. I'd be a plank if I chose that as an option. Right, we've got enough food to survive about nine years. So I'm really not concerned about running out of food this this episode at all. My main concern is not finding the things we need because I really want to find metal spikes and we haven't found that. I mean, wooden spikes were all right, but it means I've got to destroy loads of wooden things. I suppose it is quite common. Yeah, we'll be fine. Ooh, hello. What are you? Tripwire. Can we make that? We can. Interesting. Okay, that's good. And we got another marker. So we must be near home, right? Oh yes, and the gas mechanic. Of course, how would I forget? You get these, and you think you just pick this up and put it like in the forklift or something, or like on it. But no, to get gas, you have to destroy gas tanks. Which makes a load of sense, because how else are you going to get gas and carry it around? In like a fucking gas canister or something? Don't be stupid. So yeah, and then you get in the thing, and then it refills it. And then you can drive your forklift around. Which now spawns in a much nicer place. And shit, it's dark. Although the forklift does seem to have lights. Okay. Ooh. Is it me or does the darkness look nicer? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm a bit worried. I haven't seen none of the marker for where the base is. Have I, have I lost? Even though I put these. Although that means this way. Have I walked past it? Oh, yeah, I've, I've walked straight past it. Big stupid, I put these things down so I could find things easier. There she is. There's the absolute massive legend of a base. Nice. Well, for the first time ever, I get to test this. 
Nice. The torch. It works. Yeah, that's a nice little glow. It's like a really, really, really naff version of the flashlight that you come stock with. It's actually really underwhelming. Unlimited uses. Can I not use this as a weapon? No, that's that's really sad. Oh well. Well, there's no threat tonight, so we're just going to sleep. Let's unequip the electric lighter so we don't use it. I will see you fellas very, very early, or right in the morning. Nighty night and all that. Pip, pip, I'm British! Ah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to... Shit, I'm hungry! Nine burgers. Yeah, we are set on food. Out in the wild, you can only find grubs and maggots. Bit in an infinite Ikea. You can expect to dine on burgers and pasta and meatballs just like a proper adventurer should eat. Oh, it does appear that the staff actually broke the spikes. Ha! And the corpses exploded? What's on earth has happened? Maybe they get aggressive at the spikes at night. That's fine. Well, I've got a better idea. If I just put staff like this in a neater pile, grab the batteries that are in here, Anything else in here? Any recipes? No, just batteries. Way I can walk through this. Yeah, put a staff like that. And then I'm gonna put spikes around this area. Because they'll all come here. Because they want to see what happened to their friends with their new squidgy meat sounds. Have a listen to this. Probably couldn't hear that very well with all the humming. Okay. Uh rather sad, but the uh he'd be only enough for one. But we do have a fire axe, so we can break things very quickly. Although it doesn't have any uses left, this one, which is a bit sad, but it just exploded. I didn't even hit anything. Now, these aren't really worth it. They dropped one wood. I need to find something that's made completely of wood. Are you gonna... No? Okay. I'll ignore you. Ah, here we go. More like it. Smashing. They dropped one wood. I need to find what is worth. The okay, these are a bit better. I need two, though. Believe it or not, these little tables here drop more wood than that big old bloody wooden chair. Makes no sense. What on earth is this made out of? Cloth and plastic. Ugh, what a waste. It's almost as bad as cardboard. These little chairs, these look like they're made of completely wood. Three. Oh, they're amazing. Just realised we have a lot of upgrading to do. So we're going to do uh, damage and buy all, all of it into defensive. Because once we get the wooden spikes set up, we're going to want that to completely destroy everyone who walks on it. And with 20% more damage, that's a considerable amount. No, 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 don't see... Now, why did you have to see me? I didn't do it. You walked onto the fucking spikes, not me. The fist is so bad. It does no no damage. Although he just gave up. He was like, nah, I can't lay a hit. Dead. This, this originally looked good, but now it's just all gone to shit, so... Okay, that's starting to look a bit menacing. I, I wouldn't walk over that. that, that I, I would die. I would. It would hurt my feet. It's going to hurt them more. Because I ain't going to walk on it. Yeah, I need to find something that hits harder than the fists to destroy this. I need a recipe. What I need is a crowbar or something. Or oh, anything that hits. Although it's just impossible to find stuff sometimes, you know? It's difficult. Okay, I managed to get myself lost looking for s Wait, no, that's a fallen chair. That means... Aha! Whoa, okay. Guys, chill. You can all be part of the pile if you want. There's a perk there. Did I get it? Berserk, okay. Quad damage? I'm gonna utilize that, I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh. 
That's that works. That's quite effective. I beamed him. You got bam bloody boozled, mate. As per. Look, just fucking leaving your legs and feet and hands everywhere. You pig. Born in a barn or something? Jesus Christ. No manners these days. Can we please make it hold to hit? I hate having to mash the click button to break a chair. It takes forever. Ugh. I might have to take up that guy on the offer of the wooden plank. The hell gas is hard enough to find. Hello there, mate. Um, there's some things over there that want to kill you. Just go over there. I'll be with you in just a second. All right. There you go. See, that wasn't too hard. Right, we have made tripwires because tripwires are the best, apparently. These do not hurt the player when running across, but hurt the the staff. So we're going to put these around the base. This is going to be amazing when it's done. It's also particularly cool. It's basically barbed wire. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. I'm pretty sure it hurts the staff. Or so I've been told, anyway. Yes, barbed wire. I wish I had some staff to test it on, but they all keep going over there. I'm just going to punch this guy, and then he'll come over. Come on. I need you for a test. Thank you. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That does a lot of damage. I only hit him once. Or twice? Or something? He did knock over these chairs, though. <laughs> Mate, you're, causing, you're making a right mess. Hello! Welcome to the Pit of Death. Would you like to join? It's free entry. Half price for kids. Bring your children. They'll enjoy it. It's basically the most dangerous ball pit in the world. So, uh, basically, we're rich. Very. Our upgrades. We can do anything. Increases damage by transfer 25, increases their durability. Wow, okay. These are totally worth getting, actually. Damn. Could get all these movement perks as well. Ooh, yeah, we're going to get all these. Let's get maxed out night sight first, so you guys can see in the dark better. I want to see what maxed out night sight's like. And also, this guy's just going to kill himself anyway. Is he? That's not that good. It's night sight, it's rubbish. Now you just stood there and broke all the traps. Nah, don't make me have to... See, you made me do that. Bloody fucking staff. Night sight is useless. This is maxed out night sight. Can you say anything? I can't. F f shit. Well, that's how you waste your bloody perks on stuff that don't work. I mean, I'm really glad I built this base for me to literally never be inside it because... The staff don't bother. A, I would I would probably live here better if you could repair things, but you can't. So if they break anything, it collapses. It just looks cool, alright? I'll probably expand upon it. Like, when we've got all the upgrades, we'll build, like, up and make it look really cool. Because I specifically built by this light, because you can use that as, like, a, as a prop to hold things up. So, that was the idea. So far, anyway. Well, we had one more trip wire, so we're just going to whack that down. Because they don't hurt us, so we're just going to go... Kablonk. Lovely. Just adds that little bit of security if we're hanging around we don't see one coming. Although they'll just all go over by that pile, so there's no real point in them being here, to be honest. Just in case, you know. Anyway, nap time and all that, I think. Soon I'll look for the extension cord so we can have lighting in the base, and that'll look bloody tidy. Well, I thought I slept the right amount of time. It's still dark. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night breaking chairs, I think. May as well. Get to see the transition from night to day as well. I swear the game lags a bit when you break something. Hmm, weirdly poorly optimized breaking things. Let, let, let's have a look. Okay, so in the top right there, there we go. And... Yeah, it temporarily shits itself by 20 frames per second. Weird. 
Yeah, I like the transition. It looks good. I still miss the, the thump of the electrics going out, but... Ah, whatever. Right, the corpse pile has sustained a bit of damage. Need to kind of tidy it up a bit. It's all falling down. We're actually, we might have to build a second pile because... Fucking hell. Yeah, see? They've... Started to break the floor now. See, there's no traps here now. That's big sad. What are these drop? These drop wood? It's making the wooden sound. Cloth and plastic. Why does it make the wooden sound? Ideally, I think we need to find a settlement that sells wood. Yeah. I mean, if we use up all the resources in this area, we could try and find a door and continue moving on. Because it reloads the map. That'd be sad. I've worked hard on this bit so far. It would be a shame to see it go. A dart's still useless. Do they have durability as well? No, they have unlimited durability. I swear just one, one made a funny noise. Got a bit of a... Slow member of staff here. He doesn't quite know what's going on. Also, I think if you miss the throw, yeah, and they walk on it, they take damage anyway. There you go. See? That wasn't hard, was it? You can join your friend who's on a roof up here somewhere. Nope, not quite. Ugh, so squitchy. Oh! Did someone just die on the traps? I think I heard something go. Was that around here or was that back down yonder? Oh, no, no, it's not yet. So I definitely joined the party. Ow. Don't make me... I ain't joining my own corpse pile. That would be embarrassing. There we go. Okay, the pool queue has 20 uses. Does it hit harder? No. It hits the same amount, but hits slightly faster. I'll probably use it as a weapon. Still waiting for craftable weapons. We've got the plank, but that's it so far. Why can't we have, like, pool cue and metal to make a spear? See, it's easy. Also, could we break these bigger things as well? Well, folks, we're going to call it quit for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode of SCP-3008. We've made a lot of progress. We definitely, don't worry, we'll be continuing this. If it updates, I'll try and transfer the save because you can do that. Because it looks awesome. We got a little base going. We got the corpse pile, obviously, like every episode. And we got a proper defensive structure going, which is cool. So yes, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in another episode very soon. I don't feel so burnt out anymore. Toodaloos.